What's going on, viewers in the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95 here with a classic. This is Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. And at this point, I've already covered Super Mario Land 1 as a Let's Play Mini. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. It's supposed to say like that. Okay. Whew. Actually, the game froze me for a second there. So. Uh, I do remember playing this game when I was a kid, but I don't remember ever getting very far in it. I wouldn't actually complete it for the first time until this game came out for the 3DS Virtual Console. As to why I'm playing it on the Game Boy Player, if 3DS capture cards still existed, I could have hunted down one of those. Alas, that route is no longer an option, so that is why I'm going with the physical cartridge and Game Boy Player route. I know I keep saying that the next Let's Play will be Bomberman Quest. It's just uh, Battletoads 2020. That co-op Let's Play with my buddies was a very last-minute change. I uploaded it the same week we got it recorded. And I recently managed to find a physical copy of Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. And if you've seen my channel before, then you'll know when it comes to direct sequels, my rule is that I must wait at least two games. And lo and behold... There are two more games that I wish to produce a let's play of between this and Wario Land. One of them will be Bomber Request. Nice I swear going, I'll get Joseph. to Bomber Request. Just let me get through this game first and I'll get right to recording it. The next that I plan on doing after this is. Bo uh, not Bomber Man, I just said that. <laughs> is Donkey Kong 94, the Game Boy version. <clears throat> I managed to find a physical copy of that as well, and I'm really excited to show off that game, how I play it anyway. Alright, so if you have an earlier version of this game, you can actually uh, take control of these demo levels by pressing certain button combinations. If you make it all the way to the goal, you can actually break the game with some glitches. I learned that in A Plus Starts channel. Alright, enough demo. Let's get to the game, shall we? See, I did a bit of a test run just on here on the Game Boy Player. Hopefully, well... I do need to get used to playing this on the big screen, but it also has been a while since I played Mario Land 2, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. So this is a clear save file. There we go. If you press the select button here, you can actually change the mode to easy mode. Easy mode basically removes some enemies and adds some platforms. That's all that happens. And whenever you begin a level, it'll actually say easy mode on a white screen for a brief moment. I'm going to play the normal mode here. Alright, so let's get started, shall we? So here's the first level of the game. Hopefully, uh, this game is really, really fast-paced, so I'm playing this using a Game Boy Advance as a controller, as opposed to the GameCube controller. Let's see, uh, so this game came out in 1992 after Super Mario World, and as a result, if you hold down with jumping in Super Form, you can do a spin jump. The spin jump can break brick blocks and defeat enemies that a normal jump cannot, but you have to hold down, because you can do this. See, you have to hold down. Hey, it's the Game Boy, they had to uh, implement it somehow, because the Super Mario World just had to uh, hold A. There we go. You can do stuff like this, hold on. If I can actually show this, there we go, yeah. The spin jump can instantly defeat a Koopa Troopa. It's a Paragoomba, yeah. Normal Mario enemies actually return in this game, unlike Mario Land 1, where the Piranha Plant, right here, it was the only returning enemy. <clears throat> Alright, ooh, that's a one apart, and that is a star. Alright, so grab the star, and if you manage to defeat five enemies, you'll gain an extra life. So that's a checkpoint, that bell. Yeah, you'll get an extra life for every enemy you defeat after five, just like that. You need to be super formed to break these blocks in order to get this one up. So I believe, yes, this is a fire flower. And because this game is monochrome, released on the Game Boy, Mario, Fire Mario, has a feather on his cap, which is not seen at any other time. Hey, like I said, it's black and white. They had to figure out how to distinguish Fire Mario somehow. So the fire form can break these metal blocks, because metal blocks totally make that sound and defeat enemies. Some enemies I cannot be jumped on even. And so this first level here is basically a tutorial stage. Come on. It's a little weird because you have to be dead center and then holding up to go up. <clears throat> so this is the tutorial stage, like I said. 
Nice. Alright, so here is the goal. You can go through the door, sure, but if you can hit this bell, you'll be able to play a bonus game for power-ups. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Mash A right here, and you'll get the carrot. So this carrot actually turned Mario into an interesting form. He'll, tu he'll turn into Bunny Mario, a form that hasn't appeared in any other game. Alright, so here we go. We cannot go back to the tutorial level. Hey, let's go up top. Oh, wow, that looks ominous. Oh, boy. Hmm. It looks like we're stuck. Let's just go back. I wonder who that mysterious figure is. Uh, maybe I should leave before... Uh... So, there is a story behind this game. It's that Mario's rival, Wario, he sent to Tango the mysterious spaceman... I incorrectly said Evil Spaceman in Super Mario Land. Wario sent to Tango the Mysterious Spaceman to Saras Land to kidnap Daisy and distract Mario long enough to take over Mario Castle. And now Mario has to collect six golden coins from six bosses. Hey, look at that. It's everybody's favorite pastime. Gambling. Nice. So let's see. I might as well show off a little bit of what this is. So you can bet coins and hope for a power up with some extra lives. Well, I got lucky because if you get a Super Mushroom as Bunny or Fire Mario in a bonus game, you will, I repeat, you will power down to Super Mario. So be very careful when you're playing the bonus game. Right, so if you hold B, you can see the world map freely. There are six zones across the entire game. You do not have to play these zones in order. You can choose to play them in any order that you wish. But for the sake of gameplay, or for the sake of the video, I'm going to be going, uh, starting here at the tree zone, and going clockwise. Alright, one, two, three, four. It looks like there are five levels here, you in the boss. Okay, so Bunny Mario is interesting. Mario will jump higher, but if you hold the A button, oh, I'm sorry. If you press A again in the air, and then you can hold it, Mario will use his bunny ears and slowly descend. See, you cannot spin jump as Bunny Mario for whatever reason. I have no idea why that's the case, but it is. Uh, stupid invisible blocks, man. I swear, it gets Proton John and apparently it gets me. Wow. Alright. Okay, I don't believe you can jump on that guy, so... Oh, he actually... Okay. Uh. So yeah, you... Thankfully, this game follows Mario 3 rules. American Mario 3 rules of powering down. And that you'll first reduce to Super Mario and then Small Mario. Alright, so like I said, this bell's a checkpoint. Touch it, and if you die, you'll restart from there. Okay, hold on, something. Something interesting that I learned. Check this out. Hold on, I got it. I got it wrong. So you can actually, uh... No, I can't pull it off, but I learned from A plus start that you can actually uh, throw a fireball to the left. And it'll briefly grip here on the right and defeat an enemy. Let's see, another fire flower. I believe it will still be there if I come back, so... I think it will. Yes, it will, okay. Well, it's a good thing I saved it then. Yeah, that's usually why I don't grab the power ups immediately, because I might need it again. Okay, so get rid of that guy. The fireball's hitting the wall, that's why uh, it looks like it wasn't doing anything. See, I don't believe that guy can be jumped on. I don't feel like finding out. There are a couple of returning Mario enemies, but pretty much every other... Ugh, pretty much every other enemy is new. Yeah, that frog's got a bit of a ranged attack. Oh, nice. So, you may have noticed down there, I collected 100 coins, but I did not get an extra life. The way they earn extra lives in this game is by defeating 100 enemies. Yeah, that's how you get extra lives in this game. Uh, I'm gonna keep fire form, so I'm just gonna go into go normally. There we go, move on to the next stage. You can replay most levels that you cleared, and if you pause the game and press select, you can exit it right away. You can only do that in cleared stages. Ooh, this stage is interesting, yeah. So, this is interesting because normally you have to, uh, come on. Normally you have to repeatedly tap the button to, uh, move in this goop. But if you have buddy form, you can actually just hold the button. 
speaking of buddy form, that's a form that I'd really like to have right now. As a matter of fact, there are, this game actually has a couple of secret levels. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's a fire flower. I thought it was the carrot. <sighs> Crap. I'm not used to playing this without Bunny Mario. I usually end up having Bunny Mario in this level. Come on, hit the block, Mario. Okay, that's a one-up. One-ups are hearts because, like I said with the Fire Flower, this is a black and white game. But because I'm essentially playing- I'm playing on what's essentially a Game Boy Advance, I could choose a color palette, but I'm going with good old black and white. So that's what Game Boy games should be, if you ask me. Okay, so if you bop on this guy's head, he'll turn to a bomb. There we go, be careful. With the ooh, with the explosion, spikes are not an instant death, but they will power you down. So watch out because that's gonna fall. Yeah, there's the checkpoint. So let me see here. I think you can. Well, I was corrected that you can jump on them, but I almost got nailed a second time. Okay, there's a fire flower here, I believe. If you go down this path, you could find a carrot. Okay, I, f I keep forgetting you can actually hold the B button. Alright. See, so yeah, here we go. Here is where I can find a carrot. Carrot, thankfully, stays still. Alright, so... Son of a bitch. Yep, and now I can't get the secret. Oh no, I'm not boned, am I? Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Ugh! This really bites, uh, and I have to I have to repeatedly tap the, the A button too, or else I ain't gonna make it. Okay, maybe what I should have done was just grab the carrot and go back. So this is where the goal is at. If I can actually hit the bell, that'd be swell. Come on. Got it. Okay. I did have to replay the level a second time, regardless, though. Let's see. Alright, mash the button. You get the carrot. In the bonus game, you'll go straight to the superpowered form. There we go. So I could move on to the next level. You could choose to play these levels in either order. You have to clear at least one of them before you can get to the boss. Alright, now let's play this level again. Hopefully, hopefully I can actually keep the carrot, huh? But I do know where I can get another one. Oh yeah, so like I was saying, yeah. You could just hold the A button if you're bunny form. What a weird power-up though, like Bunny Mario? And why does it slow his descent of all things? Ugh, almost got nailed. Luckily, didn't. So here's a pipe. I didn't remember seeing a checkpoint in there. Maybe I would have uh, skipped over it. Alright, play very cautiously. Oh no, it's right here. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so... Like I was saying, you need the bunny form to access ugh, a secret level. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can tell it's been a while since I played this game. Okay, so... This is the alternate path. This is a weird level though, like what is this stuff supposed to be anyway? Is this supposed to be honey? If you're small, you can go through there. See, so believe it is here. Yes! That's why you need the buddy form. Because that's the only way you can get to this area. This is a secret goal. Each world except for one of them has a secret level to go to. And you have to play it. So these secret levels are typically, uh, these secret levels are typically uh, enemy and coin areas. But you can pick up a Koopa shell by holding the B button. Mario would carry it above his head. So these, like I was saying, these secret levels are typically coin and enemy levels. I should mention that if you die in a secret level, then you'll go back to the previous level and you have to clear it again to have another chance to play it. And I don't believe the secret levels have 
a goal game to play either. Okay. So here's the end. Alright, very nice. And I'm pressing right, but I can't go back here to equip the level again, like I said. I'm gonna visit this level first. Yes, I was correct. So this level is very perilous. Really perilous. Ugh. Yeah, you can actually hold the jump button in bunny form as well. To jump multiple times. That is a fire piranha plant. Come on. Okay, so apparently he wasn't going to come out. Usually, ugh. It was a lot of slowdown because, son of a... Because there's a lot of slowdown because there's a lot of sprites on the screen. Like, this is one of the early releases of Mario Land 2. So this is a 1-up. Dash quickly to get it. Let's see. You can... Uh, hold on. I could have sworn you could have scrolled... Oh, no, you have to hold B. Yeah. If you hold B, you can scroll the screen up and down. There you go. I th for some reason, I was thinking it was select. So, I don't know what these guys are here for. That was close. Okay. I don't know what those flying enemies are there for. Like, they can't hurt you. You can't really hurt them. Oh, nice. This carrot's meant to g grab these coins, but I ain't gonna play that game. No way. Let's see. Well, we can't go down that pipe, but it'll just take you down there anyway. Let's see. So, I think this platform... Yeah, they'll fall. Oh, crap. Ugh, that really sucks. I was saying that those platforms are gonna fall, but I was the one who fell instead. Okay, well, let's just go back to where I was. I really wish I could kill that fire piranha plant, but I can't. Not with, not with the bunny ears. I wasn't expecting that game. So, as I was saying, I believe these platforms will fall. You see, yep, they sure will. Oh, whoa. Nah, too bad you can't scroll the screen forward and back, just up and down. Okay, I do not want to play the gold game. I want to keep the bunny ears, thank you very much. So I could go to the boss. Oh, yeah, if you clear a secret level, then the background could actually change. So now there are flowers. Okay, so you can actually pull off some interesting glitches here by exploiting enemy movement patterns. That, you son of a bitch! Ah, oh, you piece of crap. Yeah, thanks for taking away my bunny ears after I just got done saying, Oh, I don't want to play the cool game. So yeah, there's the undead variant. He's going to come back. So watch out. I do not believe that guy can be dealt with at all. These caterpillars might seem friendly and welcoming. They'll turn to nasty butterflies when they grow up. Or maybe they're just plain worms, I don't know. Okay. Run across one block. Wide gaps. Ah, oh, son of a... Man, I haven't even come across the checkpoint yet. Ugh. Okay, come on, man. Don't do this to me. So let's see, one advantage of small form is, yeah, you can do stuff like that. Okay, thank god, the checkpoint. At least I'm not going to be forced to restart from the beginning. So here's a power-up, Super Mushroom. Go down the pipe. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, so one thing that I do love about older Mario games is, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Alright, those guys have been taking care of with a spin jump. Yeah, the game will shove you to the right, and I think there's a power-up in here. Nope, I'm mistaken. Oh, you were supposed to use that guy to... Wait, that was... What? Wait, the checkpoint was seriously at the end of the level? Anyway, here is the end of the tree zone. So, ugh. So, before we fight the boss itself, you have to play... A little bit of a level. You cannot replay boss levels for the most part. 
So, if you get a game over, what happens is you will lose all the coins you've collected so far. So this guy is not an enemy, he's a platform. So yeah, that's the only way you can replay boss levels, but getting a game over, funny enough. Think they can be... No, they cannot. Okay. I thought they could be killed with a fire flower, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, screw those... Screw those power-ups, man. They ain't worth it. So I'm gonna scroll the screen. Ugh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable doing this if I just had the bunny form, but I don't... And this game has better physics than... Ah, crap. This game is better physics than Mario Land 1, that's for sure, but... I swear they, they swear they feel a little slippery. <gasps> Praise the Lord! Yes! No, oh, I cannot see where I'm going. Okay, gotta go up this pipe. Run across these one block wide gaps. Okay, the pair of Goombas have to be ugh, killed twice. Once, twice. Oh, son of a... Man, I'm just playing horribly today. Especially since I think I'm approaching the boss room. The boss room will always be marked with a warp pipe. So these Paragoombas can be instantly defeated with a spin jump. But he can't do that as Bunny Mario. Because, you know, he can't spin jump. Yep. Already at the boss and I only have one hit. That definitely sounds like a warrior theme. How fitting because he's in this game. Okay. So you just have to bop at his head. Usually what I do is this. I don't believe this crow has any other attacks. There we go. And that's three. Three's the magic number. So for defeating a boss, you get one of the six golden coins. Like I said, if you get a game over, you'll lose all the ones you collect and have to fight the boss again. There we go, that's tree zone done. Alright, so before I end the video, I'd like to go up here and show off this level. So this level is optional, but if you're going for 100%, you have to play it. So this is an auto-scroll. There aren't too many auto-scrolling levels in this game, but they are there. Oh, I can't believe I actually managed to nail the second guy. Oh boy. Shoot. I don't remember if you can go... Oh, nice. I don't remember if you can go straight to the form greater than super in this game. I know this game came out after Mario World, which came out in 91, but I don't remember if that's the case. Okay. Okay, whatever. It's just a fire flower. I think all that's in this level is just some Goombas and Paragoombas. And the hills in the background are actually frowning. Whereas they're smiling in other levels. Okay. Yeah, this level isn't too terribly long. Back to that. They think I'm getting close to the end. Okay, sure, whatever. I'll grab it. Oh, nice. That's the end of the level. Seriously. Alright, so next time on Super Mario Land 2, we're going to be moving on to this hippo area that's right here. See you then.